And a very good evening to all my viewers out there. It is right now Friday, September the 13th, 2019. It's 10.57 p.m., almost 11. And we are here on Cote St. Luke Road, here in the Cote St. Luke neighborhood. And uh, we're going to be doing a little walking video here, going eastbound. And uh, just to show you here, if you were to follow under this tunnel going west, you'd eventually get to Westminster Street. Uh, but we're going to be going this way here because I'm going to be walking to the very first stop for the 66 bus. And I uh, actually thought I saw a cicada there. It's just a piece of cement. Huh. So anyway, this is, like I said, the Cote St. Luke neighborhood. Uh, kind of the heart of Cote St. Luke. You're going to see there's a shopping center coming up. And this neighborhood, I guess the demographics are... A lot of the people here are older, uh, a lot more seniors, a lot of retirees that live around here. In general, I'm talking about. Uh, it's a predominantly Jewish neighborhood, also very mixed. Um, but it's very nice, this, this area of Montreal. And if you're interested in coming here, you basically just get off at Villa Maria Metro. Go down Monklin Street, which I'm going to do a video of eventually, the Monklin Village. And uh, 103 takes you through there. And uh, eventually you get here to Cote St. Luke Road. And um, Cote St. Luke and Cavendish is, I guess, one of the bigger intersections around here. So you can see, like I said, a lot of apartments here, uh, retirement homes. So we're on Chemin de la Cote St. Luke and Doherty, Doherty Street. So we'll walk, like I said, maybe to Cavendish, maybe a little bit before. You're going to see there's a fire station coming up as well. And uh, we'll cross over the street here in a minute. Well, like I said, the main bus that serves this area is the 103. But the one I just got off was, was the 102 Summerled. And there's also, like I said, the 66. And then the 51 is a little bit to the south of here which goes on uh, Fielding Street. And this is where I did one of my videos, by the way, on the LED lights when they were first putting them up around the city. So we'll cross over. And we get an opportunity here. And of course there's an IGA grocery store. And this is one of the edges of the mall. Yep. So like I said, we're walking right now eastbound in the east direction. And we're pretty close to the airport here. Now, speaking of Cavendish, there's this big project that they've been talking about for years, and that is the Cavendish Extension. And what they want to do is they want to extend Cavendish Boulevard from where it ends, which is basically in, I think, Hampstead. Oh, no, actually, it's in, uh, it's near the Cavendish Shopping Center, which I think is part of Cote St. Luke. I could be wrong. Um, but anyways, what they want to do is extend that all the way to St. Laurent, past the railway tracks. Because in Ville Saint Laurent, there's also a street called Cavendish, which ends at the railway tracks. And uh, here's your shopping center. Now they've been talking about extending this for years and years, but it's never been done. And now they're talking about it again. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's a federal election coming up if you haven't been following is our uh, country election for the government of Canada October the 21st I believe or 23rd something like that that's a hybrid bus there by the way 3700 series and uh, like I said here's your main shopping center the Centre Commercial Cote St. Luke it's called This McDonald's is relatively new. Now 
And I had a friend that lived uh, around here as well. That was in 2007. So I spent a lot of time here back then in the past. And uh, it's amazing how certain things change, but other things don't throughout the years, you know. So there's your McDonald's. And uh, over here you have some restaurants, some more apartment buildings. There's a huge apartment complex right here. Giant one. Yeah, so this is your Coast St. Luke shopping center. And this street here is Coat St. Luke and Coronation. Coronation Street, which by the way is the name of a British show. As we continue eastbound, I say we're kind of up to the fire station, the Coat St. Luke Fire Station. They got a huge building there. Ginormous apartment complex. How's that? Christmas lights up? Huh. It's never too early or too late, I guess. Bank de Montreal. That's a BMO, Bank of Montreal. And even if you live in Ontario, you probably have one of these as well. Just as we have the TD Bank here, the Toronto Dominion, which is my favorite bank. There is a post office, which by the way has many interesting vehicles of different sizes, vans, step vans. It looks like they even rent those discount vans to accommodate for the extra mail. It is. These ones are nice. Canada Post, which is of course the Canadian mail service. Another large apartment building. That'd be fun to work in a post office, you know? Not to mention, I think they make a decent living as well from what I've heard. And we're slowly coming up to Cavendish, a couple more blocks, but there's some more streets along the way. On this beautiful late, late, late summer night. And again, uh, I'm trying to do some daytime videos before it gets too cold because I don't know how this phone is going to work in the winter time for videos. I'm uh, hoping it works good. I'm sure it will. There's some election signs there that are up. So, if, uh, you know, for the next few weeks, next month or so, while I'm doing my walking videos, you're going to see a lot of election signs up. And, uh, you know, these signs here are some of my favorite street signs in the city. Check this out. I have the writing here. Beautiful, beautiful. Try to get a closer look here for you. Look at that. And they're bilingual signs too. Anyway, and by the way, this is Station 78. Fire Station 78 over here. And um, there's a 103 bus stop down there. I'm trying to clean this lens off, not exactly working out as I've no as I noticed, but I also seen a lot of fellow YouTubers, even with the regular cameras, have that same problem in nighttime. Or even though you clean the camera off, you're still going to get that uh, film on it and oil and dust. There you go, Station 78. Be nice to get a response right now, but uh, who knows. And this is Coat St. Luke and 
have to see the side here or the other side of the sign. You can see here, uh, here's an old street light. You can see it's a little bit more illuminated. Yeah, this is Rosedale Street, Rosedale. So we continue our trek eastward. Maybe we'll, looks like they're doing some renovations here. Apparently this is a good restaurant as well. I don't think I've ever eaten in it. Here's an election sign. I'll show you the election signs here. So there's your Canada date. And this is the Liberal Party. Our current governing party of Canada. And you know, don't get me into politics, man. They're all the same to me. And uh, you know, the way it works is usually you have the Liberals, the Conservatives, and uh, you know, it's one government comes to power, people aren't happy, and then they vote for the next one, and then they're not happy, and then the next one. And man, we need someone new, man. Someone with new ideas, especially with all this climate change. And uh, you know, we're running out of time on a lot of things. Uh, you know, it's a bad state of affairs here on this blue marble they call Earth. There's one of my favorite signs. Somebody that, uh, like me, has a bit of Irish in them. It's a nice shamrock here. Oh, that's a strong wind. So I may or may not go to Cavendish Boulevard. I might, uh, cut it a bit early. Like I said, I'm going to take the 66 home, which goes to Guy Concordia. I'm going to head on to Green Lion and head back home and uh, upload my videos. This looks like a newer building. Oh yeah, by the way, I know one of my viewers out there, Alfred, wants me to do a walking video on, uh, I think it's Prince Arthur Street. I definitely am going to be doing that soon. I haven't forgotten about that. Actually, that's one of my priority videos. I'm going to put a note in my phone about that. And uh, I'll go back to your comment and see exactly what section of the street you want. And uh, I'll dedicate it to yours personally. I know he likes watching on the big screen TV at home. So here's Cote St. Luke and Montclair. So we'll cross here very quickly because there's some cars coming. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so my bus stops down here. And uh, as always, thank you all for watching. Have a good night, everybody.